The Simpsons uh, first started out as a little bit on the Tracy Ullman show, a little minute, two minute little segment. And it was produced by Klasky Chupo. It's uh, another studio, uh, animation studio. And, uh, and w one day I got a call from Fox asking me if I would be interested in, uh, in taking over doing uh, The Simpsons. And I said, yeah, it, it, I says, but it's already being produced by, uh, by another studio. And in fact, they're friends of mine. And he says, well, you know, we're, we're, we're having problems. They were having uh, some kind of difficulties with them, and they were going to take the show away from them. So I says, well, you know, whether you want to work on it, we're still going to take the show away from them. And uh, so if you're interested, you know, we'd like for you to work on it. So I called up Gabor Chupo, you know, who was my friend. I says, I understand that, uh, that Fox is, uh, wants to take the show away from you. He says, yeah, he says, They're, but if anybody is going to do it, I uh, hope that you do it. So after that, I went to Fox. I says, okay, fine. We'll, we'll. I, I just had a, you know, I didn't want uh, people thinking that I went behind their back and took the show away from them. But once I talked with Gabor, you know, he, and, and so anyway, it, it turned out to be very good for us because uh, the, we took it over. It was hard, like in the second or third season. And uh, so what we did, we more or less kind of defined the characters and you know, kind of really, because uh, uh, to me, I can always spot the early shows and the, the later ones. To me, it's uh, very, very definite. And the nice thing also was uh, that uh, we got the artists, the directors that had been on the show from the beginning, they came over. And uh, so we didn't have to reinvent anything. You know, it was just a matter of just giving the creative team, you know, a place to, to work. And uh, uh, so, uh, again, uh, I gave them nice areas to work and, uh, you know, the, the, and uh, the, treated the directors, you know, uh, with respect. And so, all the, you know, at first they were kind of wary, where, where are we? They, but uh, the, they grew in, into, the, uh, into the studio very, very quickly. And uh, really talented, really, really talented uh, you know, people there. What exact changes did you make with the animation? As you said, there's definitely a difference in the yeah. first few seasons and the mm -hmm. rest of it. What what change was made? Well, I think it was uh, uh, more in defining the characters visually, because um, the writing has uh, always been very, very sharp. And and uh, uh, David Silberman, who was like the lead director on, on the on the Simpsons, he went through and, and did a, a fine tune the characters, you know, and expressions and the drawing and, and working with uh, Matt Groening. Uh, because Matt, again, you know, is, was so defensive about how his characters, you know, how, you know, uh, has a, every right to you know, protect his characters. And, uh, and so working with David, you know, they fine-tuned those characters really, really and so, so, I mean, I, to me, it, it, it's just a, a line there where uh, you can tell the stuff that we did and the stuff that was done before. I wasn't involved uh, in any part of the production. I was, uh, uh, by this time, I was the executive producer, and I was giving uh, uh, the unit a place to work and giving them all the benefits of whatever um, uh, uh, help we could give them to produce the show. So I, I just uh, supplied the, the, um, the space and uh, whatever else is needed to produce the show. So I, I am the studio that's that's uh, producing it, and I you know, give them all the the benefits of whatever they need.